Hey guys, it's No Fish Gang here with another One Piece video. And this time, we're going to be looking at what I'm going to declare right now is the best deck. It isn't objectively the best deck in terms of this format and whatever. But I think because of how well this deck performs, like I'm just going to say this is the best deck. And in today's video, I'm going to show you like every single game. I did not stop like recording. I didn't lose any games. Every single game that I have won today, I have won in a row. There's not, there's not going to be any cuts. It's going to be a big, long-ass video. I'll maybe cut like little bits and pieces, like if, for example, I get up to move or whatever. But I'm going to show you today that this top four deck has so much potential. It has the potential to still be the number one deck. All right? I beat blue, I beat yellow, and I beat black. All right? So get ready to see some craziness. We're going to go through the deck breakdown, and then you're going to watch me beat the OPO8 meta. Let's do it. We've got our leader. For those of us who do not know and any beginners that are watching the game, Trafalgar Law is an OPO1 leader who um, states that active main, once per turn, Don, you may rest two, uh, two Don. And if you have five characters, return one of your characters to the owner's hand, then play up to one character with a cost five or less. Um, of a different color as a return character to your hand. So if you have red characters on the board, you will take them back and play out green and vice versa. Right, so next we have uh, Otama. Otama, when it's played, gives one character minus 2,000 power. It is a 2k counter, a one cost. All right, in this deck, she's great at, um, you, you can freely, sorry, in this deck, Otama is awesome. She is playable. You can play her out and it's okay because you can always use your leader ability or other characters in this deck to get Otama back to hand. So that's why we play her uh, play her as a 4 of, right? The utility of bringing down 6k bodies to 4k and swinging with your, with your characters is awesome. And it just helps get rid of problematic cards, which in our case are blockers. We want to get rid of blockers. That's what really slows us down. Next, we have is OPO1 um, Nami. So look at the top five cards of your deck. Reveal one straw hat other than Nami and add it to your hand. Then place the rest at the bottom of your deck. So Nami is a searcher and she searches quite a lot of your cards in your deck. Okay, so not everything, but she does search your Luffy, your uh, Brook. It doesn't, you can't get your other Nami off this. Uh, you can get your Choppers off this. You can get your Rad Beam off this. You can get your Nico Robins and your Zoros off this. The other um, one cost, you cannot get off this Nami. You just have to be careful when you're playing that you're not accidentally putting the Nam the other Nami into your hand. Next, we play OPL1 Roa Noa Zoro. He is just our rush card, our early game bad boy. We love him. We take him back to our hand and we play him out again with some other characters on our board. It is just amazing. I can't believe still to this day, like such a strong card. Um, has come from OP1. It's just he's just good in every red deck, basically, right? Um, yep. So basically, what rush means? I didn't explain what rush was. What rush means is that on play he can he can attack the turn he's played. Yeah. So that's what he is. Three cost five k. Really strong numbers. Then we've got Curly Dadan. Now Curly Dadan is another searcher, but unlike Nami, she can search any one uh, any red character with a cost of one or less, right? So she can search out your Nami, she can search out your Otama, she can search out your other Nami, she can search out your Makino, your Nico Robin, and your Tony Chopper. She actually searches so many cards in your deck. It's awesome, right? Her having 3k as well means that you just need to attach two Don and swing. All right, next we have is OPO2 Makino. Rest this character, active main, up to one of your red characters with a cost of one, plus gains plus 3,000 power during this turn, right? We play her because we play so many one costs in the deck, and um, they turn our one cost characters into 5k characters, right? And, you know, some of, sometimes you will use this effect. Um, early game, if you can get the swings and you're trying to, you know, get your opponents uh, down in cards in hand or in, on board, you're trying to just be aggressive early on, she is awesome. She gives your um, Robin plus 3k to make it a 5k gives your nami plus 3k to make it a 5k 
and um, sure it doesn't do anything for your 2Ks, but sometimes that's all you really need. You just need these guys to clear and then you can always take her back into your hand and use her as a 2K counter. Now, next we have is um, OPO5 Nico Robin. On play, KO one of your opponent's characters with power one, uh, 1,000 power or less. There's a lot of cards in this uh, game that have a power of 1,000 or less. Uh, some other decks will run Chopper. There is Bon Clay, which is a 1,000 power character. You have, um, you have Rebecca, which is a zero uh, power character. So all of these characters are easily KOable by, uh, by Robin. Right, so against black, this is like your your favorite card to just kill Rebecca. All right, then we have um, ST1 Chopper, which is a blocker, one cost, one K power. He's really easy to put down. He gets you up to five. A lot of these one cost characters are here to get you up to five so that you can go in on your opponent um, with some five cost bodies. Next, we play ST1 Nami. So, active main, give one of your rested dons to your leader or your character. It's really awesome. It kind of works well with um, any of your other characters if you just want to uh, give a don to your leader after you've used uh, your effects. Getting her down as a one cost gives you value. You're like, okay, yep, I, I don't need her on the field anymore. You can put her back in hand and have 1k counter. But having her out and letting your make, forcing your opponent to kind of deal with her because you're not going to attack with her. She just stays up, so they have to KO her, and they'll have to waste a KO ability on her. You can use that to just buff up your 5-cost characters and make them 7k, right? So she's really good. Uh, we play her at 2 because, you know, she's not the best. You don't want to see her all the time. Next, we play 4 of the uh, ST1 2k uh, counter Brook, right? So this one on play gives 2 rested cards to your leader or one of your characters, right? So... Combos off uh, really well with the Luffy, giving it uh, unblockable and just giving anything else 2k. You can give your Nami 2k, um, so she goes up to 4k and then use Makino and then make her a um, 7k, um, you know, attacker of one cost, which is just insane, right? Or you use her, f uh, use him for 2k counter, right? So it's just a really good card. The, the 2k counter is what really um, makes it for me as well. I like that we play Brook. Is one of my favorite cards. Next, we've got Monkey D. Luffy, another one of my favorite cards. ST1 gains uh, Rush when he's played, so you can attack the turn he's played. Then, Don X2, when attacking your opponent, cannot activate blockers during this battle. Really good finisher card. If you, if you can get your opponent down to zero life and they set up a bunch of blockers, the next turn, you, bait, you have to go in on him. And if you've got five characters out, you can play him for two Don. You can play him for two Don, attach a Don, and there's no way they your opponent will have the counter to do that. That play is like one of my favorite plays of all time. All right, so we play two of the Monkey D. Luffy. Um, we we run it at two because we we still need counter in this uh, in this deck, and we do run a lot of ca other cards that have no counter, such as the Zoro and the Chopper, um, previously mentioned. Next we have um, EBO one. Cavendish, 5 cost 6k power, on play or when attacking. If your leader is supernova type and you have no other Cavendish on the field, activate two of your Don. Awesome. Really well. The numbers work really well with your leader effect. If this is the last card you play on your 5 Don turn, you get two back and then you can use your leader ability to take back another 1 cost or maybe take back um, uh, like a 1 cost or a, a green 1 cost and play out a red like your Zoro. Awesome card. Love him. Opponent has to deal with this card when he's on the board. So he becomes a target. Instead of them going for your life, they are forced to kind of go for Cavendish. Next, we play um, OP01 uh, Blocker Law. So 5 cost 6k power. And you may return one of your characters to your hand. Play one character with 3 or less from your hand. And so he is huge. You can use him uh in so many ways in this deck he's so versatile when you play him out with your leader effect you basically can bounce back two of your 2k counters back to your hand and then play out a um a red character so how that would work is you'd have otama and you know let's say makino on field you take makino uh, otama back to hand play out the law and then use law's ability take back the makino into your hand and then play out the zoro or um 
yeah, Rosoro is your favorite target in this. Or, like, for example, you, you need to dig through your deck for things. You can play out the Nami or you can play out the Bonnie because he doesn't have a color restriction unlike your leader, which does. You have to do the opposite color with your leader. But this law blocker, you do not have to do that. You can play him at... Uh, you can play out any color, so the same color again. So sometimes you would want to attach two Don, take this back and attach two Don again if you've got two rest of Don. Like, why not? Sometimes that might be the play, right? So really strong card. We play him at four um, in this deck, right? Next we play STO, STO2 uh, Jewelry Bonnie, which is active main rest of Don. Uh, you may look at the top five cards of your deck, reveal one supernova, add it to your hand, then place the rest of the bottom of your deck in any order. She is really, really strong, and a mistake a lot of people would do is they play her in the user ability when they're going second, and then they lose her when the opponent attacks the next turn. Um, in this deck, you want to keep your one cost up as long as possible. So if you can pick second over your black decks, then you play her out, and you play her out, and you get as many of them out as possible. And then when you use her effect, you want to have choppers or law blockers out so that you can use her again and again, and just make make that the focus of your opponent. If they just focus on trying to get rid of her, then, you know, you are chilling because that's a one-cost character that you can um, that you can just let go because your five-cost characters will have to be alive. So a lot of these cards here, they, they become like a lot of um, annoying little things your opponent has to deal with. So Jewelry Bonnie, being, being a one-cost 1K that also has 1K counter, also such as you, five cards of your deck, for only one Don is huge. And it it's also just a problem for your opponent. They have to get rid of her because otherwise you'll see everything that you need to see. Right? Now, the last two cards we have is Travel Galore. This is the Restand Law, SEO2. Um, and this one, on play, set up to one of your Supernovas or Hard Type Pirates with a cost of five or less is active. So, sets Zoro active, sets Luffy active, sets Cavendish active, sets this Law active, and sets himself active really strong again you can uh use him with cavendish and you know you'll uh use your leader ability for example uh, attack with cavendish and then um play out the trafalgar law restand the cavendish attack again and you can basically get four don back from him if there there might be a way where you can play it out so that you play him out attack with cavendish once get two back then play him out like hard play him out and then get him to get two more back and then use leader ability to get rid of another red one play another one out and then get him back again and get two more on. So there's a way to get out maybe like a swing, you know, three times with Cavendish and get back six Don in a turn as well. So, you know, those are some insane planes that happen. Like not, not that it's going to happen like every single turn, but there's a chance that it can happen, right? One off Radical Beam. So this deck runs a little bit more like normal generic numbers, like threes and twos. Um, it doesn't run a lot of ones. The other RG Law deck that, by the way, I really love that build as well. That one runs a lot of weird numbers. We have a lot of weird one-offs in the deck. Um, and they really work in the way they were working. Um, in this meta, I haven't tested it out properly uh, yet. But that will be another video down the line. But this Radical Beam, however, uh, it's a counter one cost. Your opponent, uh, so your leader or one of your characters gains plus 2k during this battle. If you have two or less life cards, this character, uh, that card gains an, an, an additional 2,000 power. During this battle, um, then you've got the trigger, which just gives anything you, you have during this turn plus 1k. Right? So that's the deck. We'll see how well it does in some of these games. Let's get into some games. Let's let's bite the bullet. Let's let's play Dofi. If he is gonna be the best deck in the format. We might as well get our practice against him. All right, we got a lot of searches. We're going to keep and we're going to see how this plays. All right, we'll play the Nami. We'll search out... Uh, ooh, we already got a Brook. We, we'll get another Zoro. He doesn't know that we have a Zoro. We'll get another Zoro. Okay. What's he going to play? He plays nothing. We really like that he plays nothing. We'll swing a quick five out life. I still don't know how Dofi plays, and I am kind of terrified. But we will just um, we will just rush out some searches. I think. Yeah, we'll do a two and a one. So, we yeah, because I was 
thinking we'd probably see a 1k. Take the Otama here, and with the remainder one, we'll just play out another Nami. Ooh, and we'll grab a Luffy here. Alright, cool. So we saw two Cavendish, which is unfortunate, but our opponent doesn't know that we saw two Cavendish. Our opponent does know, however, that we did get a Luffy and a Zoro, if you paid attention. Now, Luya. So he has to Don X2 and then use his ability. So yeah, for those of you who don't know uh, what Dofi's ability is, he's a really powerful card. And so his ability is Don X2. When attacking, rest one Don, reveal the top card of your deck. If it's a seven Warlords of the Sea character with a four cost or less, you may play that card rested. And then those characters will have their own abilities. I want cards in hand. Um, that is just, it's just too strong here in this situation. We want the cards in hand and we, we are live. We are live peeps. Okay. Let's, let's do some shenanigans here. So two and a one will play out and then we'll go from there. Well, I can go two with Bonnie and search and then I can do, um, you know what? We'll just play the Bonnie for now. And we'll play the Otama and just give minus 2k here. Then we will attach one Don to our leader. And we will swing six at our opponent. All right, he lets that die. That's all good. We'll use our ability, leader ability. So take, select the target. We'll, we have to take back the green and we'll play out the luffy and we'll swing six at our opponent again and they have the 2k counter so they will yeah definitely all right cool so we're already in a good place here um if he plays the he can't even play the gravity blade okay and guess what guess what <laughs> we beat dofi because boa hancock cannot use her ability on luffy baby <laughs> let's go how good is that uh that already feels so so good okay okay all right easy and then we send one of these back send the otama back that is fine 5k at our life um we kind of don't want to go down too much we'll give her the robin him the robin sorry next turn fortunately we can't get rid of this boa um, okay, we did draw something nice here. I think what we'll do is we'll play out the Bonnie. We'll use Bonnie effect. We'll get out of green. That's really, really good to see. Uh, we will then... I reckon we... Because that's 5, 2... Mm, we can swing 5 with one of our Namis and then play the Nami back. So I think we'll do... Yeah, we'll do some swings. We'll swing with this first, 6k. Make him use another 2k counter. I really want to, yeah, I really want to cut him down in cards. And then we'll swing a 5 first. Keep our Don up until we need to really use it. Yeah, because we'll use leader ability. We'll take back the Nami we attacked with. And then we'll play her back out again. I think, yeah. So, let's go. Five. With Nami. And then we can use this to get back. Um, that will take Nami. Play the Law. Use Law's ability to take back. Um, we'll take back the Bonnie. And we'll play out the Zoro and we'll swing another five at life here. This is wow. One, two, three, four attacks. Our opponent has is gone down has gone down to two life. Um, I definitely think we are going to see a gravity blade here. Yep. Just just as um, predicted. But the thing is, he's only got one Don left and he's gonna have to swing 8k here. Right? 9k wow 9k there okay can we defend that that's two three that's all of the cards in my hand sorry Zoro. you're gonna have to go buddy but good thing about this is that like we can target 
we can really target into our opponent now. We'll take this life. And now what we can do is we can so we can really search quite a lot here. We got nine. We only need two. So we got seven to play with. So seven um one two three characters we need to play all right let's just start with we did see a lot of red in the beginning so i'm thinking we're gonna see some green we'll use one bunny search okay we'll get a bunny i guess out of it then we'll play a nami get a search out of the nami oh this was bad that was a whiff i should have done the nami first i guess that would have been the better sequence so we got four done left here here we'll play um We'll play the brook actually, because one, two, three, four, and then we can just play out Cavendish, and then we can play out another character. So, yeah, we'll play out the brook. We'll select Dadan. So now Dadan's at five, and we'll we'll swing we'll swing five at life with Dadan. We'll just pressure out more cards from his hand, and I have to remember to leave one Don up as well here. So we got five. He's he's really thinking here. He's got the counter in hand, like six cards in hand. He's chilling. You know what I mean? Um, but he took that life, which is, I mean, I would think that yeah, wow. So oh, I'll only get four back. Uh, I'll only have four available, but I guess that's okay. We'll take. We'll take back the Brook, and we'll play the Cavendish. Um, so now we've got four. I think we swing... No, we're going to leave one up. We're going to leave one up. We'll use we'll use Zoro ability here. We'll swing another five here. We'll play out Zoro, and we'll swing with Zoro. We'll replace the Dadan. Actually, maybe we'll replace this. Yeah, let's, let's do that. We'll replace... And we'll just swing another five at our opponent's face. Yeah. Now, he doesn't have any rush, I don't think. Like, unless he's running Usopp. I think that's the only blue rush card there is. Since he's not running any rush, we should be in a good position here. He got rid of his pudding because, I mean, it's not worth it now where we got five cards in hand. Having this much counter in hand is also really nice, just in case... Yeah, good, awesome. So Cavendish can't attack, put back the Bonnie, I'm guessing, or the Nami. Yep, cool, yep. Bonnie, awesome, it's all good. We can play out another Bonnie. All right, so we have to really win this next turn because we can't get rid of these Boas. Like, he's, well, we can get rid of one Boa, but I reckon he's going to go at face. So I just got to be careful. If I can save the Zoro, I will try my best to save the Zoro. And then we'll go 8 into him and I can counter that out. So we will just counter. <clears throat> yep. And 8. We'll go no blocker. Counter red beam. Resolve. And he's got nothing. Okay, so our Cavendish can't attack. But, he's got four cards in hand, one blocker, one, two, three hits. Three hits, and it goes through. So, we'll do five, count of one, count of one, count of one, count of one, and then that. It is rough. It is rough. But we will throw, we'll throw a five his way. And just see where that takes us. Yeah, we'll throw another five. Alright, we'll... Okay, so... I'm thinking... I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking... I'm thinking we... We try, we try... We can still get the Luffy off the Bonnie, but that's two. So we will risk it for the Biscuit. Ooh, that's not what we wanted to see. That's not what we wanted to see. But, I guess we get a Chopper. Alright, we'll go... Dude. 
Yeah, because we can play chopper for one. One, two, three, four, five, six. You know what? I'll risk it. I'll risk it. Rest. Oh, well, we got this. We'll use leader ability. We'll uh, select the red. Ooh, ooh, this is tough. Oh, okay, okay, okay. No, this is crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. We can take Zoro back. We can play him. We can use the card action. We can take back. Um, we can take back Dadan, and we can play the Zoro, and we can go six six. Ooh, so should I do five five five? Five five five. They'll have to counter all cards. So we'll we'll go with leader first. All right, we'll go five with leader. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, damn. Now he's making me think I should go all in with him. And you know what? We will. Because we'll save that one done for Chopper. Okay, he's... Hey, let's go! He had no counter, baby! Okay. That is one rep in for the top four RG law. Okay, it's looking good. It's looking good. It's proving itself to be successful, guys. Ah, that feels good. A win against Dofi. Amazing. It's crazy. He, he must have not seen... He did not see any Jinbei as well. That's unfortunate for him, but it's really good for us. It's really good for me. <laughs> uh, should I do a rematch? Okay, we'll, we'll, do a, we'll do another rematch if he wants it. Uh, yeah, yeah, he does. Okay, all right. All right. We, got, we got to try to run it back successfully this time. Again, okay, we got the Luffy here in the Toonami. Uh, shoot, 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 shoot. I'm going to mulligan. Okay, all right. This was also good. Um, we'll take we'll take a Zoro, make him think. Oh God, we have like no counter here, bro. No counter here. Okay, we got a chopper. Ooh. Okay, this is this is good. This is really good. We'll attack five. He'll do something here. All right, cool. And then one, two, we'll have one done up. So we'll go rest, rest, give this plus one K. We'll attach one more and we'll swing a six here. Most likely give me a two K counter. Yep. Oh, whoa, two puddings out of hand. That's kind of wild. We'll drop the chopper, we'll pass it over. Now in 3 Dawn, we caused uh, such a problem for him. Hopefully, okay, now he's got four cards in hand. Um, Jinbei out, this is really strong. And only five, five he'll probably go at Makino. I'm gonna have to let Makino go. I mean, I could just, ooh. I could just block that and then just swing five. Oh, he didn't even swing. Oh man, this is, this is, this is great news for us. We are, we're cheering here, boys. We are cheering here. Three and a two, which is unfortunate we can't get to five. We just needed a one cost. Um, oh, it doesn't really matter anyway. We've, we've got too many red cards. But, um, yeah, let's, let's just, let's just swing. Um, we'll rest. Give this the plus three and we'll swing five here. Blocks, dies, we'll swing another five. Yes, amazing. We'll uh, play out the Zoro and we'll just attach to here because, you know, like he's just gonna, one of them is just gonna die. And we'll swing seven here. It's two cards out of hand. He takes another life and we're still at full life, baby. RG Law, we've got the rush. We've got the rush. We can, we can win this. All right, okay. Here comes the terrifying bit. So he's. Had the ability to stack. So this Doflamingo, look at the top five cards, return them in any order. So he gets to look at them and he gets to put whatever he wants at the top. Now, if he's put a Jinbei at the top, then it's really strong. See, now this Jinbei, even though it's rested, can play out another Warlord and he draws a card. And he's swinging 7k at my character here. Obviously now, like, we can't, we can't let him go. Like, if we let him go next turn, we're kind of in the same situation here. But then he'll swing with this. And I'm thinking that we will... Oh, 
He's got three dawn up. He's gonna really try to get rid of it. So we'll just let we'll just let that go. We'll just let it go. Cause yeah, I think he definitely will swing with this five. If he plays out another Doflamingo, then that's that's awesome for us. And also kind of sad. But he didn't again, he didn't swing. Oh man, he's just giving us like free wins, bro. Um there's nothing green that I can get from this situation. So I just have to play aggro here. And you know what? Like, I'm happy to do so. Like, we can't use leader ability, so why not? Let's just swing. Three, three. We got one. All right, let's grant this plus one. We'll give it one extra and we'll just swing six. We won't go for board. We'll just go for life. Yep, he takes. Then we got three, two threes that we can take out. We'll just go swing another. Uh, this one's a 5k. Maybe I'll swing five here. He'll probably save it. That's awesome. We'll play a Zoro. Make him use another card. Swing five. Gets rid of that. And then we'll play another Zoro. And we'll swing another five. We got one chopper blocker up. We got ways to counter out of it. That's awesome. All right, he's down to three cards, three characters up. He's definitely going to go for board here. Um, he can kill one Zoro, um, depending on what he does. I mean, if he's got Gravity Blade, uh, we're, we are off in a better, a worse situation. Um, but that's okay, because we can play out the uh, Luffy next and still have two decent swings. And I, like, he... He probably can clear board here. He can clear board. The one thing that's given me so much value, which is insane to see that he didn't just swing 5 at 0 and get rid of Makino. And maybe the chopper is what's deterring him because it's like, oh, chopper's going to go anyway. Like, we might as well leave him the Makino. But I think, like, he should have still tried to go for it. It's, yeah, like... Yeah, he's got some decisions to make here, man. Like, we go 5 at 0, 5 this way... Dude is not using leader ability at all. At all. See, now this is funny. If I block this, he's going to have to get rid of Machina. So that's one less attack on my Zoro. Let's do that. Let's do that. I know it's silly. Um, maybe, prob probably not the right play. Probably not what the top four guy would do. But, like, we're a different person, so we, we're just going to try this out. Oh, snap. He's swinging 8k at Makino. <laughs> Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Uh, yeah, I'm very happy. I'm very, very happy right now. Um, he's going to go get rid of the Zoro now. Yeah, you, you can have one Zoro, bro. That's that's all good with me. Damn. That's insane. Oh, you can have both Zoros. I can't protect him. It's all good. That is, oh my lord, two Luffy's as well. Fra rat. Okay. Play a Nami. We'll search. We'll see what we can get. We got a uh, Robin. But can't do anything with the Robin. We need the green stuff and we're not seeing the green stuff. Ah, uh, this deck needs like something. Something else, man. Something better. Okay, three bodies up. Okay, you know what? I don't think he's going to defend them so let's just seven at five i think he'll let it go that's two cards out of hand i don't think he's going to do that we'll drop this we'll do another seven at five he'll probably counter this but he doesn't and we'll pass You know, yeah, I, I kind of expected something like that to happen. If he drops the Jinbei, and like he's not going for life either, so like what do I do, you know? Okay, cool. This one, if your opponent has six or more, woohoo, we'll take that. And a 6k at life? If he 6k is at life, ooh, okay, yep. If he 6k is at life, I'll take as well, but he doesn't. He's just not swinging. That's crazy to me. Um, okay, 
we need to get three characters down and then i want to re-swing so we got five we need two right so we're playing with eight so five six seven eight which is sick because he's unblockable but like we'll just use him for that and then we can bounce him back so we got one and then we can't i mean we can't target anything then we'll go five then we'll go two and we'll give the two to him and then we'll swing eight at life and i think you take here <sighs> then we use our ability we will take a red back play out a green we'll restand him and we'll chill with him and we'll swing five here because you'll definitely get rid of a card here for that <clears throat> yep and we'll swing another eight that is two cards out of hand which will bring him down to three he does not do that we pass it back to the Dofi player. Boy, OPO8 Dofi is not as good as OPO, uh, sorry, 8.5 Dofi. 8.5 Dofi is going to be terrifying, bro. Terrifying. The nice thing about doing what I've done here is that he, he, he actually was silly. He should have gotten rid of the Trafalgar Law and swung four like a bunch of Don there, but he didn't. And I'm just going to take this because he doesn't have any blockers up. So we just um, will attach all active Don. Yep. And we'll just swing 16k at face. If he has the counter, he has the counter. But uh, we have 5k to attack with as well. What's he going to do? Uh, do I like do GG question mark? So I see you like aggro. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, I do. Did he say anything else and I missed it, guys? I didn't, right? Oh, he did. Oh, damn. My lord, you cooked. <laughs> I did cook, didn't I? Two games against Dofi. Yeah, baby. Feels good, man. Feels good. All right, we'll get into another game. Two Dofi wins. <sighs> it already feels like it's going to be a good video. It's going to make me feel like crap. Um, What do I want? I'm going to go second against him. Which means he's going to get the Gadatsu, but that's whatever. We will uh, we'll keep because we can play into the Dodan. we got a nice balance here. Um... There you go, he takes his first life already. That's crazy, bro. Look at you go. We'll drop and we'll take a We'll take a Makino here actually. Because then we can search, we can buff Makino. Uh buff with buff with Makino the turn up turn after. <clears throat> he can't ask the KO like one by one here. Um yeah, is it? When your opponent loses a life, draw two cards, trash one, right? So we'll uh, we'll let him have his ability. No trigger. Oh, no, it has to be the, uh, Donix one. Never mind. Um, we will play out this to KO this for free. Uh, we will play out uh, this to search for a chopper, which is awesome. We will play out a chopper. And we will play out a Makino. Swing five at life. And he will take because he is an L. Oh. That's that's lovely. Now he's gonna get out to something. Probably the blocker. Oh. Nice. 5k. When your opponent loses a life, draw two character uh, draw, draw two cards. Discard one card from your hand. So it's a queen. A queen with 5k power and a 3k 3 cost that's pretty good man i hate an l so much do i hate it because i ain't it maybe maybe um do i want them to cycle when your opponent loses a life 
Ah, your turn once per turn. No, you can have that. Bro, if he attaches four and he swings, ooh, that's crazy. But he can't play a Gedatsu, which is which is nice. No Gedatsu. Having five means next turn it's gonna go amazing. We're at six done. It's gonna be straight gas, bro. We're gonna have six Don to play with on top of that. Hmm. I reckon we well, we can't play the Luffy, which is sad. Uh, he's gonna do another ability here. This one we won't let him have. And unfortunately, we will have to trash our 2k counter. Take back one of these 2k counters. First, what we'll do is we'll rest this, give this plus 3k, and we'll swing four, five at four. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, good. It's gone. Amazing. Um, then, hmm, we'll take back the Makino. Yeah, we have to take back the Makino. We can play out the Cavendish, and then we can play out like two Rush bodies, which is good. We'll try. We'll try that out. So we'll take back you. We'll play out Cav. Um, we will then. Yeah, yeah. I think we. We could just attack with what we've got on board, actually. But then he has... He might have the clear. Yeah, like, we've got this up. We might as well just use this. We'll go five. We'll go five at life. <sighs> Two Don. That one's hefty. Yeah, that one is hefty, but... I kind of want the mark... The... One of these back in hand... Um, he probably will take this as well, actually. I mean, he might counter this. If he counters this, it's not bad. Um, if I play Zoro, he has to deal with it. Yeah. Okay. We'll go. We'll go five with Zoro. I think I'll keep one in hand just in case he does some crazy shenanigans. But yeah, if like he takes he takes this five, so he'll take this next one, I think. Be weird if he doesn't take this next one. We'll keep the we'll keep the, the Dawn out actually. We got five here. Make it a bit harder for him to swing with Bunny. Alright. Yeah man, if um if Nami was a supernova, bro, fuck, that would have been good. Oh my god, he counted out so much. I didn't realize how much counter he went through. Damn. Okay. Okay. Five card hand and L. That's not as scary anymore. Like, seven Don, what are you going to play? Like, Russian L? Seven Mum? Hmm. It is... It is uh, good. We've got the chopper out. It's crazy that he hasn't KO'd the chopper. Oh, there we go. Speaking of which, here comes the Gidatsu. So we got a 5k and we've got a 6k. We will counter out 2k with that one. And you're going to do a 5 at me, bro. 5 at me. Okay, at my life. Um, I think I'll give you the Dadan. All right, now he's trying to starve me, but we've got eight Don. We got a five cost Luffy, and we can restand Cavendish. Ooh, Lord, it's good. All right, we'll play this because I guess we get to restand stuff. Ah, nice. Um, you know, you aren't so bad because I can just play you out again. What we will do is we will swing. Six at the life here. Yep. He takes. We get our dumb back. And we love that. So we will do... So we mean one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, one, two, three. We need... F we're going to play Luffy off of five. One, two, three, four, five. Leader ability for two. We got one that we can attach. So we'll do one on the Dadan. And we'll swing... Four at four. 
Okay, he lets it go. We'll swing five at life. And this is awesome. Like if he, yeah, if he counters out, we, we're just taking the NL's hand here. We're just going to swing with everything and then we're going to do our um, Luffy Truffle Galore play. And even if he gets his life ability and he doesn't die, yeah, we're going to get cards out of his hand for sure. We'll swing here. Five. Yep, he takes, uses leader ability. Cool. That's, that's awesome with me. We're going to... Um, play out i think you play out the luffy normally let's play out the luffy over this dadan and we'll swing six at their life here right this is where he will counter or he'll take because he can yep and then yep that's all good Ooh, that's that is that makes our whole play wow having that as a trigger is insane that is insane having that as a trigger. Three hits our life. We are going to make those the three hits he has to do. Ooh, that that triggered me right there. That triggered me right there. Oh my lord. Okay. Okay. All right. 5k, 6k. We will have to counter out one of these. Um, six at that. That dies. All good. And then two 5k. So we can counter out one of these. Um, he can't get rid of these. So we'll let him kill this and then he'll have to go for life. Yep. Hit my life. He doesn't even hit my life. Wow. Okay. Um, play for one done. We'll get out a... I guess we'll get this. Why not? Uh, one and two. Uh, we can't do anything. We'll just go swing. Oh, damn, I wish I could use my don a little bit more. You know what? I will. I will just do it for the, for the lols. And then we'll just attach one two uh to this and he'll have to have actually we'll do one more and then he'll have to have he'll have to have it right and we'll just swing another time with cavendish again all right uses ability nice uh we'll do a five at life here he'll count a one um, we got seven, so we'll do two right here, and that's going to be an... Uh, I didn't have to attach two. I didn't have to attach two to do this. That was very silly of me, but we will deploy, and we'll restand this for nine, and we will swing again for nine. Okay, I should have technically... I got too excited because I'm about to beat the NL. I got too excited, but I should have um, played him out first, had the... Swung with the Cavendish for nine, and then use the two don on leader, and then attack with leader. That would that should have been the right play, but you know what? We won against an L. We're gonna ask him for a rematch and try to beat him again, bro. We beat Dofi. We beat an L. Two Dofi games, one an L game. Oh, okay, okay. If we can get a like, if we can beat a black deck in this video as well, oh man, I'll be happy. If we can beat Luchi in this game, oh. I'll be ecstatic. Uh, what do we got? We got the green we need. It's a good green. I'm going to keep. Let's do it again. NL games. All right. He gave us second as well, which is really good. We draw the Robin. Oh, we didn't. But, oh, we drew the hard combo. Three up as well. Yeah, man. That's too good for me to to pass up on we'll take the yep oh my god we can do like insane swings okay so now i'm thinking next turn we've got four on we can swing six we can swing five we can swing five three hits at life i don't know if that's good but you know we can really get up to five quickly though which is good like next turn we'll be a four characters he can't get out to now he can get out to the turn after and we'll save some of the cards in our hand but it's good we got some searches Hopefully we draw into 5 cost law as well. We'll take that first life. Easy peasy. Oh, amazing. Let's let's do this. Uh, we'll, we'll do the plus 3k onto Nami. Swing a 5 at life. Uh, 
Oh, we'll swing another five of life. And you know what? We'll uh, play out the Zoro and uh, we'll swing another five of life. And he's gonna counter. Watch him counter this. Counter this, baby. All right, and just to just to like annoy the crap out of him, we'll play out another one of these. Ooh, look at that! We get a brook. We did see some green go down there, but it's, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Five cost, five k of Machino. Damn, that's crazy, bro. That's crazy. You ready for this, bro? Are you ready for? Oh, hoo -hoo. okay, 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 okay. Now let's think about this. All right, so we need three characters on board for abilities to pop off. So that's one Don, one Don, two Don. So we can, we are live. So we'll go and play the Dadan first. We'll grab the Chopper, which is really nice here because we can't KO anything. Uh, we'll play out the Chop and we'll play out the Mac. We use Mac Attack, boost our Nami and swing five at life. <laughs> Oh, this feels, this feels so good, bro. It feels so good. All right. He has to use Kingdom Come to get rid of the rest of this. So we'll swing another five here. And then we'll use Leader Ability. We'll take back the Machino. You know. We'll play out the Law this time. Because the Cav, we can't do much with the Cav. We don't want to play anything else out this turn. We'll use the Cav next turn. Oh yeah, this is amazing. All right, Leader Ability. We'll take back the Mac, we'll play out this, we'll use card action, we'll take back the Nami, and we'll play out the... Yeah, let's play out the Dadan, because he's stronger and... Ooh. Uh, it's a free one, it's a KO, but what, what is it going to kill? Nothing. I think it might be more annoying to have this rested one up, because just in case he's able to whiteboard, we can. Oh, yeah, because we can't take Zoro. Yeah, we'll take this. Yeah, we'll pass. So there's seven done again. He's got three hits. Uh, he can use Kingdom Come here to get rid of our blockers, but we're in a really good position. We've got we've got a lot of 2k counter in hand. Um, I think he's maybe misplaying by countering out so much. Like, I don't know why he would counter out so much. Like, almost all the NL players that I, like, know... They take all their life as soon as they can. They go down to one and then they counter out afterwards, you know. But yeah, I guess like he just doesn't have the the top end. What the heck? You putting Ace up there? Okay, maybe this is just like a weird NL build and I don't know. Okay. Ooh. 10. 10 you know what that's the that's the life i want to take actually that's a good one that is so good oh my god it's ridiculously good um far out far out what are we what are we doing here man Whoa, what are we doing here bro we'll just just swing fives bro just give him fives man He's he's gonna hate me, man. He's got some KO thing. Do it. Do it, brother. Ah, oh, there we go. What? Then trash the top of your until it becomes one. Oh, okay. One of your account cost equal to your you and your opponent's life total. Ooh, and he's five, and we were at four, baby. Let's go. Okay, let's do another one. Let's see what he gets this time. Because you can't KO with any of those abilities. Oh, oh, freak. I forgot about Onami. Ah, that's all right. That's all right. We can recover and then do leader ability anyway. So, uh, you know what? That is exactly what I'm going to do. But <laughs> I'm going to be really annoying. I'm going to play the Makino. Rest the Makino. Buff up the Nami. And then we'll play out the other Nami. Oh, do we play out the other Makino? <gasps> and then we just bounce it back. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's a good idea. We'll just... We'll just buff an army just by 6,000, bro. Uh, we'll use our leader ability so he just doesn't KO any of those things. We'll put that back out. We get these two. Oh, look at this. This is nasty, bro. 8k at life. That's two cards out of hand. He's going to take the life. Damn. And then after, then I get to do a 7. Uh, 
watch him KO the Cavendish or get zero cost event. Bro, if he gets zero cost event, he's just a good NL player. He is not a good NL player. He didn't get the zero cost event. So we just uh, we just swing seven here. You know, we, we swing seven here and we're all happy. You know, he can, he can game me next turn. Like, there's a way he can game me. Two hits and I have to counter out a two. There is a way he can game me here. You know, if he's got the 10 cost ace and stuff in hand. It's very possible. Very, very scary. Um, scary thing there. But, you know, if he thinks to himself that, damn, I might not be able to game him. Because he's going to do a 10 drop or a 9 drop. You know, he's scared of what I can do next turn. He doesn't have the cards to counter out all of these. <laughs> all of my women, bro. Look at that, bro. IG Law, bro. The Dawn, bro. Let's go. Oh, let's go. This makes me like just just so happy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, baby, let's go. We made the NL rage quit, man. Oh, dude. I ain't gonna rematch you, bro. I ain't gonna rematch you. If you're gonna quit the game and not play it out, bro, I ain't gonna rematch you, man. Oh, come on, bro. Okay. I really need, like, one more leader match. It sucks that I did... So, I did two Dofi wins. We got two Dofi wins. We got two NL wins. Um, I'm hoping we match up with a black deck... And so then we can get two black wins or one, whatever, like, I'm all good. Just out here going bold. All right, it is a black deck. It is Luffy. Okay, 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 okay. All right, now I gotta, I gotta think about him. All right, so, for all of you who don't know, this is the ST14 Monkey D Luffy leader. It gives, on Don X1, give all your characters plus one cost. And uh, if you control A cost or higher, this leader gains plus 1k. Okay, we can search. We don't see a green. We're gonna keep it. We're gonna keep it and we're gonna play out the Nami. The Nami is gonna get us a Zoro and we're gonna pass our turn right there. Now he's on two Don. He is going all the way to Jack. So Jack and Gecko Moria, that's what we're we're up against. So he passes his turn. Now it's back to us again. We will uh, swing. F mm, I think we'll play the Makino first. Rest, swing five out our opponent. I think against the black decks, you really want to see all your ones quickly because their, their like early game is not as good as our early game. So we really need to take advantage of that and we need to swing like crazy. Um, attach to uh, attach to this and we'll swing six here. Get rid of another 2k. Yep, he took a life. That's awesome. Um, and then because I want to kind of protect my Makino here because I can use it again. Oh, he might just kill the... He probably will kill the Nami. Um, I think we'll just play another... Mm, no, we'll play a blocker. And we'll pass here. This kind of makes him think like, okay, I've got four cost. He can't KO here. Like, I mean, no, he can. He can just play Luchi and then he's good. Because he's got three in trash. So we do zero here. We'll block that. And then he'll waste his 5k on that. Awesome. Good. So we're not worried about that. If he plays Luchi... We are terrified, but he doesn't, and that is what's amazing. Amazing. Okay, so we got five. Um, can we get to five characters? Uh, we got hair in my mouth, bro. It's cat hair. Yep. Cat, cat live vibes. Uh, we will go... Okay. I'm going to let the brand new die. I think we just keep swinging the life. Five, 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 right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, might see something fun. Might not see anything fun. We'll play this. Um, to the Nami. Yeah. We'll make him think we're not going to attack with the Nami. And that we're going to actually hit seven out of life. Yep, beautiful. That's what I wanted you to do. Swing another five. Okay, it takes another life. We'll uh, give one to Nami. Swing another. Two there. Got another five. Yep. 
cool. And he's at six. So now he can do one on him and then Sanji, KO anything. Um, he doesn't even have to. He can KO anything just right now, right here, right now. Yep, we'll just do that. We'll drop the Sanji, I'm guessing. Yeah, right, Sanji comes down. Yeah, yeah, Sanji comes down. 6k at the Zoro. He wants me to use counter. No. Oh no, he'll just drop this. Oh, he dropped Sabo. Okay. Freak. Maybe I shouldn't. What did he ditch? He ditched his non counter. So he had quite a lot of 2k's. Oh, he ditched a Jack as well. Okay. Yeah, like, I mean, we know against this matchup, we're not going to hit our. We're not going to hit our 5. Uh, character board so we we kind of that's why we kind of have to like slow down with all of our um character abilities i still can't get to five here so we got two so two don and yeah and then two don and then three don i need like more one costs but that's okay um i think we pressure maybe with uh, zoro again yes all right, we'll do two sevens. We'll do a seven here. Play the Zoro, attach one, and then do another seven. Yep, cool. Play the Zoro. Uh, rest, and then we'll attach one more. And, because I don't really care what he KOs. I want him to, yeah, good. I want him to get rid of cards on board. That's okay. We got another rush character. He's on eight, he's on eight. He's got Gecko. He can do like the Kusan and the thing, but I mean, like, what's the point, really? Um, five. Can he KO anything with what he's got? He can KO with T Bone, but he can't play T Bone. Can't play anything else, really. He'll have to play out a character from hand. Um, and I'm on nine next, and I can't do Law. So, I'll trash Law. See if he swings another five at it. Yeah, he is going to because he's going to get go Moria. So if he's going to get go Moria, I don't think he can KO anything because that's five cost. Yeah, so I think I will. But he can Sanji. And then I only have one card in hand. Yeah. But then what if he just doesn't swing? All right. Alright, I didn't listen to my gut, uh, and I paid for it, and he's not going to attack. Ah, uh, damn it. Okay. Okay. Okay, um, no, this is okay. This is okay. He still hasn't gone for any of my life, and he knows how crazy I can be. So one, two, three, four, five. I need, I'm going to attach two to him, attach two to this, so it'll be a seven and an eight. We'll do... Seven at life. Okay. We'll drop the Luffy. Attach two. And we'll do an eight here. Okay. He doesn't have anything. Okay, we're good. Even if he drops the blocker next turn, we've got the Luffy in our hand. He can't... There's no way he can get rid of this Luffy in our hand. So we are... We are... We're going to win this game. We're going to win this game, guys. Yep. Take that. That's all you. Take it. I am chilling here. No worries no worries okay yeah i think i think i played that really well i'm so proud of myself let's go let's go me man let's go me yeah okay seven at life we'll take <laughs> and he plays sabo as well Okay. Play the Saba, please. Yes, and trash too. Okay. Now let's think about this. Think about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's no way I can do this. So we're gonna just play the boy. One, two, three, four, five. And we're gonna hope he does not have 
counter for 11k. Yeah, baby, let's go. Ah, yes, yes, the three Pete. We beat the blue. We bleed. Blah, blah, blah. We beat the yellow and we beat the black. <sighs> All is right with the world when an OP01 RG law can beat the meta. Okay. Hi right, guys, so let's talk about the deck again. Um, so in today's video, you saw that we played on a lot of the effects that I told you about. We got to use our Trafalgar Law to re-stand the Luffy and win for game. We, we played smart in our black game and we were able to use one of our Luffy's. We drew into the other Luffy, which is just awesome, phenomenal. And we were able to make our opponent go for blockers on board and then drop our Luffy and just go for the game. Knowing full well that, you know, we can get countered out, there is a luck component to this deck, right? Not getting the one cost in your hand in the beginning of your game is detrimental. Like, you might lose the game because you won't see the one cost, right? I didn't see Bonnie in, uh, in so many of my games, and you know what? It didn't affect the result of my game. I still was able to manage to pull out ahead and really use Nami so much in this game to get the Zoros and get the Luffy's. And you just gotta forget about your life and your opponent's board with the deck. You just gotta aim for life, right? Especially against blue, especially against yellow. And like, I mean, that yellow guy might have been playing an L wrong, but that's still a deck that is strong, right? There were still points in those games where that opponent had, you know, um, ways to get rid of my board. And we were still able to come back. And, like, our worst matchup is black. Sure, like, Luffy isn't as aggressively removable as, like, uh, Luchi, for example, because Luchi, just, you just play out on little Luchi and, boom, my, my deck dies, basically, right? But we still were able to survive that much removal. And if you're playing this at a locals, right, you're not going, hopefully you're not going to see that much Lucha, you might if there are a lot of sweaty people there, but if you don't, you get to have fun with something that isn't meta, right, and that's what I think this deck is, it's a really good example of um, a bunch of different techniques that you will use, you've got KO abilities, you've got restanding Don abilities, you've got the rush, you've got the unblockable, uh, giving Don, um, reactivating characters, lots of counter, minusing, um, a lot of different mechanics in the game are in this in this one deck, right? The on only one maybe is the life management and um, like the Don Minus abilities that you would get in purple and yellow. Um, and yeah, I guess you get a one KO ability that you would get. So that's our, that's our Blackbird part of the deck, right? So this is a very aggro deck and it works. And um, you've seen me pilot it, pilot it yourself. Now, you've seen me do this. And now I want to see you guys do this. Take this deck list. I'll put it down in the comments below. And I want you to go and have a go at trying out RG Law. It might be the deck that really gets you into the game. Like I personally, I fell in love with One Piece with uh, Roa Noa Zoro, which is another aggro based deck. And this leader, he's also just, he's my favorite character in the anime um, right now. And he also was just a really good leader like when he first came out he was a really good leader and it's nice to know that you you can play uh op01 meta cards in the current format that's one thing i love about one piece is that there is so much change and so much uh variation that it doesn't matter whether you're playing op08 cards op01 cards op02 you can start this game at any format and your leader can still be really good right like the starter decks are going to come out. Dofi, another OP01 um, character uh, leader, is going to become really strong, almost meta-definingly strong, right? You've got um, red support for your Mako that's going to make it a bit better. You've got your yellow support for Katakuri that might make that better or putting better, right? So now I want you guys to take this deck and try it for yourself. The deck list is down in the comments below. I want you to tell me how you're going with it, what changes you've made to the deck. I like it the way it is. I'm going to keep this as one of my builds, and I might actually try it out um, IRL. All right? Um, thank you guys for watching. If you guys want to watch another video where I try something a little bit different, I've got this Wheel of Yu-Gi-Oh! 
If you guys are inter interested in this video with RG Law off meta, new to the card game, then you will like this other video I have. It is called the Wheel of One Piece. First leader we used uh, for the Wheel of One Piece was Garp, Red Black Garp, and we did decently well with Garp. Um, so if you guys want to check out something else that is not the OPO um, 8 meta and something a little bit more refreshing, we've got that there for you. Um, give me more feedback on my videos. I'm going to try to improve, as, uh, improve them as much as possible. And yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoy the videos. Make sure you like, share and subscribe. I remembered. I remembered. And turn that notification bell on if you, wanna, if you like these videos and you want to see more of them. All right, guys. Peace.